So, uh, I mean, it, it's a big question you asked, but let me go back to the, the first part of that, which is this report, because I read that and um, I actually got in a bit of trouble on Facebook when I, I responded to this report. And my response was um, that what they're talking about is electricity. Mm-hmm. They're not talking about total energy. Mm-hmm. So when you talk about renewable solar, wind, um, replacing fossil fuels, coal, so on, yes, for electricity generation, all right? But electricity generation is not all of energy. Mm-hmm. And when you look at the total energy picture, including you know, cars that are <laughs> that are on the road and trans. Uh, ships and and airplanes and factories and total energy, then in fact, CO2 um, is at or near its record rate of growth right now. So the fossil fuel generation of of greenhouse gases is as fast as it's ever been in the history of, of humans producing these gases. The actual peak was in 2019 and then in the aftermath of covid it kind of fell and so i watched this this statistic on a multi-year track and um because i want to make sure that that we sort of balance out all of these these short-term effects and um we are right back at a peak and in fact it's already been documented that 2024 saw the highest release of greenhouse gases uh, of co2 ever right as a year so I think it's very it's a very disingenuous report. It makes it sound as though we have accomplished something when we haven't accomplished that. Simply generating more electricity is not the same as cutting fossil fuel use, right? And yes, there is more electricity and there are times of the day in certain locations on the planet where um, essentially the all of the electric need is being um, covered by you know renewables and um, some climate scientists like to make great fanfare out of that fact and yes that's even happened here in California um, meanwhile there's millions of people driving their fossil fuel cars on the road that are not being accounted for in that equation right so so we just have to be careful with with understanding um, this and you know the other problem with all of this in terms of a long-term future is that these technologies also degrade the environment 